Hello, and welcome to a uh, brief overview of how I set up my X56 Hotas uh, device uh, for X4 Foundations. Uh, it was requested uh, in a comment that I go over how I set mine up, and I'm happy to oblige. So what you can see here on the left-hand side is the throttle, and on the right-hand side is the stick, hence the term hands-on throttle and stick, Hotas. This is the Logitech SciTech X56. I have used others in the past. I've used uh, the T16000M by Thrustmaster. I've used the T-Flight 1 by Thrustmaster. Uh, I find that the X56 is the best of those three, but they're all pretty solid. Uh, I like them all, but this is the one I'm using right now. It is definitely not uh, one of those bespoke high-end VKBs or whatever, uh, which are apparently built even better, but this does the job more than adequately. So. Here's how I have it set up. So on my stick, the stick is the easy part. The stick is very straightforward. Uh, obviously your joystick here is set, it's got a, uh, it's got three axes. So it's got the pitch, which is forward and back. It has uh, what I have set up for roll, which is gonna be left and right. And then I have yaw set to the twist axis. So you just kind of grip the stick and twist it left and right. I think a lot of people probably do the reverse where they have the roll on the twist and the uh, and the yaw on the uh, on the X and uh, or sort of the left and right axis. However, I find that that doesn't work conceptually for me. Uh, if you put your hand, I, I wish I had a video of this, but I'm not putting myself on video. That would be weird. No one would want to watch that. If you take your hand and just hold the palm flat, and stick it out in front of you with the palm facing the floor. And then if you rotate your hand so that the palm is facing up, you can see that's the roll of a ship. And if you match that with the movement of the joystick, that basically means the left and right turn. Like the, 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 the roll will be left and right. You can very clearly like feel that, that connection. And then the pitch of course is if you're taking your hand and you're pushing it down, fishing fingers down and then fingers up. If you do it the other way, you, the only way to conceptually make it work is if you hold your palm out forward in a stop or my mom will shoot kind of uh, position where your palm is facing forward where your face is and your the back of your hand is facing your face. Um, if you then do the left and right, that's going to be your yaw and then if you twist that is your roll so in my mind it doesn't really work that way because my ship isn't facing straight up and down it's facing forward and back so that's why i set it up that way but yeah obviously you do it the way that makes sense arcade shooters you will generally use the left and right as the yaw I am back here in my OBS real quick. I'm gonna turn my sound down because that is pretty loud and you don't need to hear all of that. I just don't like having my voice be the only thing you hear. That's super creepy. Uh, okay, here we are. So I have this little wor uh, the walk POV here as my menu controls so that once I'm in the menu, I just use this to uh, control the, the, the position in the menu, up, down, left, and right and then you use the trigger finger to select, and then I use this button here for cancel. I don't use it for anything else. I don't have it bound to do anything other than cancel. Uh, but you'll see why. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty handy button to have, like a position of a button. Uh, and so you would think to put some other, other control on there, but I just, I don't. I actually just use that for cancel. So up here on the hat one, I have my Short range scan, pushing it up. Long range scan, pushing left. CETA, if I ever have that installed, which I haven't yet, uh, to the right. And then the pull down, if, I, if you pull back, that's that uh, that ship settings that pulls down from the top of the screen and lets you deploy or, or get up or trade or what have you. This uh, castle here, this one like this, I have it set for my targeting. Forward, targets the next subsystem element. To the right, next target, down is the nearest enemy, and left is, is basically object target, which is uh, target object, I should say, which is essentially target ahead. Then I have my primary trigger button here, and then I have this one as my next primary. So this cycles through my primary groups. 
And then my uh, pinky finger, the the you can't really see it here, but it's the it's the long trigger. Uh, that is my secondary, which is usually the missiles and so forth. And then the the little button behind that one is the next secondary. So that is basically uh, the stick. Oh, and then over here, this little uh, hat, this or this little joystick I use for uh, basically my head movement in the cockpit, which I rarely use. Every once in a while, I'll accidentally hit it, and you'll see you'll see the cockpit view change. Uh, that's why. Then over here on the throttle, we finally have the complex stuff. So we're going to start along the top. So over here on the other side of the throttle itself is a rocker switch and then two buttons, which you can't really see here. And then over here just to the left is a scroll wheel thingy, which I don't use or it is set to zoom, but I just I don't usually use it. I have the rocker switch set to autopilot to pull back and uh, guidance to object to select a target if I push down. These are fairly commonly used. I use my autopilot to pull back or pull back again to turn it off. And guidance to turn guidance on and off. My middle finger button right here is the brake. That I use very commonly. Uh, and then boost is my index finger. Again, also a very common, uh, commonly used button. So brake and boost are uh, middle and index finger. Then up here, I use this rotary as my zoom on the map. And you'll notice, if you watch, I often get it backwards in my head. And maybe I should switch it, but I am typically, I push with my thumb forward to zoom in, and I pull back with my thumb to zoom out. That's the way it's supposed to be, but I tend to do it backwards. Don't know why. This, I have to invert my throttle. So right now, my throttle is directional forward only. I don't have it do forward and then back. That way, if I pull all the way back on the throttle, it goes to zero. If I push all the way forward, it goes to 100%. So I use this, this switch here. When it's in this position, the switch on position, it inverts my throttle so that forward goes backwards to full and then pulled all the way back goes to zero. And then I pull, put the switch into the off position to go into regular mode. This little rotary I have set to my magnet. So normally in the neutral position, it doesn't do anything. And if I pull back with my thumb, it doesn't do anything. But if I push forward my, with my thumb, it turns the magnet on. And then I can turn it off by centering it back again. Then down here, I have this button, this little E switch button or not switch, it's just, it's just a button, is my flight assist toggle. So it turns it on and off. I use this a lot, especially when I'm in travel drive and I want to change directions rapidly. And then this top switch hat, hat little hat thingy doodle here, which is just a, a, a directional, it's like a D-pad kind of thing. I have that for my views. Uh, exterior view is pulled up. Cockpit, when I push forward. Target view, which I rarely use when I push down, and then my map when I pull back. So I'm often doing map on, map off, or map to cockpit. That is a very commonly used set of commands right there. This little hat buttony switchy thing here is uh, set to map target. So when if I push down, it will uh, center on the target I have on my map. Zone view back, sector view forward, so back and forward just is basically uh, preset zoom levels. And then deselect. This, when I pull up, if I'm in the cockpit, it deselects whatever I have selected. This is an updated, this is a command that only exists in version 5.0 of X4 and, and, and beyond, uh, which uh, if you've been watching previous videos, you know I love greatly. Uh, I put it here because it was the only button I had left, the only, the only, uh, control I had left that I hadn't used yet. Uh, so there it is. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Okay, then we come down to here, these little toggle switches, which I am routinely forgetting which ones are which, but that's okay. And I, I could put this up on my, uh, my iPad, but I actually have my OBS controls on my iPad now, so I will just have to get used to it. I'll just have to, you know, struggle with these every time. So, push up on this toggle switch here, interacts with whatever I have targeted. So that gets the menu. Uh, usually I'd use that menu to do a scan, or I could use it, but I have the object scan now set up. 
but uh, interact to, de to deactivate or to calm a target or, or what have you. Pull down, the pull back on this switch is the same as the pull down here. I just don't use it. Uh, I just don't use this one. Object info, you can get info about the object you've targeted by pushing up on this middle toggle. Comms with the object you're targeting by pulling down. Object scan on this third toggle, pushing up. Pause in the game, pulling down. I do that a lot. And then finally up here we have these. So this is where it's going to get interesting. So I'll start, I'll go from the bottom up. This toggle switch here, I pull down to get a docking authorization. And I push up to get up from my seat. This next one, this second one here, I don't usually use, honestly. Target lock and cycle cameras, don't use it. The ones I do, and then this toggle four, I'm not. I'm gonna skip toggle three for right now. Toggle four, flares if I push up, next ammunition uh, if I pull down. This one requires a little bit of explanation. So right now I have match speed as the pull down, and then I have travel drive as the push up. Now, it seems like a weird spot to put travel drive. Why don't I put it over here? Why don't I put it on one of these? Well, it's actually really a comfortable spot, and I'll tell you why. When I have the throttle pushed all the way forward, my thumb is in a perfect position to just come down here and click and push that little toggle, pop, pop it forward. So my travel drive, I'm rarely going into travel drive when I'm at dead stop or anything like that. There's no reason to. Throttle up all the way, thumb down, toggle forward, travel drive. That's why it's there, because it's actually a really easy spot to push, and it's almost as if it's on the throttle itself. Uh, it's actually when, because this is in the middle position right now on the image, if it's pushed all the way forward, it is less than a centimeter between this the toggle here and this little d-pad switchy doodad so it's actually like right this is right there so it is literally right below my thumb if my thumb is on that resting there so it is really a good spot for that i don't have any of my mode switches set because i don't really have enough there aren't enough commands that i would need to create a whole new set of mode uh new mode switches i don't use these two rotaries and like I said, I don't really use this one, the scroll wheel, as a zoom. I use this as my zoom now, but I could if I wanted to. Uh, the uh, and then finally, I didn't I didn't list it here. I should have mentioned it here. I forgot to write it down. Uh, this here is my strafing. So this is another little mini stick, sort of like this one. But this one, uh, I pull up to strafe up, push down to strafe down. Push to forward, which is essentially to the right, to, to strafe right, and then strafe left that way. Uh, so that works pretty well as well. Uh, I should have mentioned it. I should have written it down there, but I didn't. So that is my setup. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, in the comments, uh, or not the comments, in the, in the description of this video, I will put a link to this particular, this specific layout document here, this image. And I'll also post a link to uh, this uh, this layout image uh, with all of these cleared, nothing in there, so that you can just use this if you want to create your own templates. Obviously, you can see here this uh, setups here for other things. This is usually if you've got mode switches set up and then you want to do uh, different modes and so on, but obviously you can see I don't really need that. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope this is helpful to, to some folks, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.